Yo, what is going on guys? It's, uh, I think the 20th of February, and it's been a while since I've last uploaded. So today we're going to be looking at Itachi in Heaven's Arena, so I just want to, you know, showcase his moves here. I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched other YouTubers showcase the moves, but you know, I just want to be a little bit thorough, in case you guys haven't seen. So the first move is Crow Illusion. It has two uses, like most of these moves. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he all of his moves have two uses. So the first use... Oh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, the first use is this. You disperse into a bunch of crows, and, you know, you negate the damage. The second use is... I fucked it up. Anyway, the second use is you turn into crows, but you appear behind the opponent and throw shurikens at them. You have to time this right, so it's kind of hard to do, but, you know. I... okay. This is gonna be the last attempt I do. And there it is. You can start a combo on that. And, you know, it's pretty useful. So, yeah. Anyway, the next move we have is Amaterasu. This has two uses as well. The first use is a stun. You can use it in combos. This. Continue off of that. And, you know. And the second use is pretty unique. You... <laughs> you create a wall of flames at your cursor, and it knocks enemies away and applies a Matarasu onto them. Like this. You can hold E to continue doing it, or you can release E early to just, you know, get a little burst of arranged Amaterasu. Like this. Like this. Like that. Anyway. The next move is Totsuka Blade and Yatamira. Totsuka Blade is this. Slams him down onto the floor and it has a unique property. I'm going to read it off right now. Totsuka Blade. Summon your Suzano uh, to stab your opponent. If your opponent dies directly from the blade, they will be sealed into the board, losing some of their ultimate charge in the process. Can be used on grounded opponents. I'm going to test that right now. Anyway, we are back, and let's see them get sealed into the board. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, moving on to the next move variation. It's Yatamir. Let's read the description real quick because I forgot what it does. Summon your Susan L to negate any incoming attacks, blocking attacks with Yatamir and grant you bonus ultimate charge based on the damage of the blocked attack. Keep holding E to extend the duration of the move. Okay, so yeah, it's basically an iframe. Yeah, it blocks attacks. That lasts a long that lasts a long time. Let's see how long it lasts. That lasts a really long time. Anyway, now we have our final move, which is Sukuyomi and Clone Illusion. I will showcase Sukuyomi real quick, and it's going to lag a little bit because I don't have the best computer. So, yeah, let's just see this. My computer does not like this. It does not appreciate what I'm doing to it. So, yeah. You will notice this little icon above their head, and I will read the description for what that means. Tugiyomi, cast the ultimate Mangekyo Sharingan Genjutsu on your opponent to trap them in a timeless dimension and torture them for an eternity. After being hit by the Genjutsu, your opponent's mind will be broken until they die. While your opponent's mind is broken, they will be unable to properly see their move cooldowns or their ultimate charge. Can be used on grounded opponents. Clone Illusion E, cast Genjutsu on all nearby opponents whose minds have been broken by Tsukiyomi. That will be cast a mirrored clone in order to trick and confuse them. 
Anyway, uh, it's pretty useful because, you know, it's, look at this. That, that is so cool. Like, how, how do you not like this? This is so useful. And then, you, the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Itachi is an amazing character. So, uh, this is the combo I'm going to be going for. And then into the alt. So let's get right into the ranked matches. All right. Uh, first. What the heck? Anyway, first match. Uh, we got a mirror match, and damn, what region is this server in? Pretty bad ping, I'm not gonna lie. I might just skip this match, but you know. Bro, I Yeah, this guy is one of those players that just spams the slide dash. Ugh. I'm not the best at the game, but I can tell this guy is kind of a cringe bag. Look at him! No, no evasion? No of what? Okay, that's interesting. Yes, sir. I hate the fact that they remove the fact that you um you can't evade on the last M1 anymore. So you're taking a lot more damage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> These balance changes are so bad. Anyway, on to the next match. Alright, we are back with the second match, and it looks like we're fighting a guts. my headphones while he's commenting me. Looks like he sold there. Anyway. Slide kick. PB. 
speed. That's how it's done. Yes, sir. <laughs> I feel so corny right now. Anyway. Oh! Guess he didn't want to fight me. Uh, okay, anyway, on to the next match. Alright, uh, looks like we're fighting an Itadori. Boom, 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 boom. Is he complaining? Uh, yeah. Dead. All right. Itachi is so. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I don't blame him for complaining at all because the heavens so really don't really know how to balance. Characters. No offense. Anyway, I kind of wanted to skip that alt cutscene. Takes a bit longer than I like. Where is he going? Yeah, he's dead, bro. Like, this <laughs> this character is so broken. Still getting damage though. I, I guess that's a combo. I don't know. He has not comboed me once yet. So, yeah. That's basically it guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, so look out for the next one, sorry for not uploading, and uh, yeah, have a good one.